Thank you, Tore. Now, please let me welcome and please join me in warmly welcoming David Pitzinger to the stage. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You just heard Tore Richardson sing the national anthem. Tore is a native of Waterbury, Connecticut, and is currently a music performance major at Western Connecticut State University. He has been singing since the age of three and has a background in musical theater. His past roles include dialogue, uh, Dialogues of the Carmelites, where he was a revolutionary, Amal and the Night Visitors as Kaspar, The Miraculous Staircase of Carpenter, and The Tenderland, where he played a farmer. In 2015, he participated in a musical tribute at the Marian Anderson Studio in honor of Marian Anderson. In the spring of 2013, Torre was awarded an honorable mention in the Connecticut Nats competition, which qualified him to perform in a master class with Metropolitan Opera soprano Erie Mills. Thank you, Torre, for this heartfelt rendition. Our next uh, artist this evening will be Alea Vernon. Alea Vernon is a rising senior at Cheshire High School and the Juilliard School pre-college as a vocal performance major as well as an Ensign Darling Fellow at the Bushnell in Hartford, Connecticut. At the Juilliard School, Alea studies with Lorraine Newbar and is coached by Jorge Parodi. She is additionally coached by Asmat's, uh, Asmat Sidakov at the New York Opera Center. This past season, Alea was the first place winner of the Hal Leonard Vocal Competition, the second place winner of the Rondo Vanguard Competition, a finalist in the Classical Singer High School Division, and a George London Scholarship recipient. This has been her first year in the Juilliard School pre-college after attending the Manhattan School of Music pre-college. Alea has sung internationally uh, in renowned theaters such as Carnegie Hall, Paul Hall, Seiji Ozawa Hall, the Shanghai Theater, and the Bushnell. This summer, Alea has attended the uh, Casentino Voice Festival in Poppy, Italy, and is to spend her second summer at the Boston University Tanglewood Institute in Lenox, Massachusetts. Now, Alea will sing for you Torniami a Vagheggiar from Alcina. The, the role is Morgana. She's a sorceress along with her sister Alcina. I guess that makes them sorceresses. And uh, it was the first opera that uh, Handel uh, uh, created for his first season at the Royal Theatre Covent Garden. Now, Alcina tires of her lovers and she basically seduces every night, every shining night, that comes to the island of Lesbo. And um, it's a little confusing, but Morgana is in love with Bradamante, who is a woman posing as a man. She sings this aria, Torniami Avage Jar, uh, Come Back to Court Me, You Alone I Wish to Love, uh, wooing Bradamante. This is Alea Vernon.
Thank you, Alea. I guess we'll be hearing a lot more of you. Our next artist is Deanna Broga. Deanna is a recent graduate from Western Connecticut State University with a Bachelor of Science in Music Education. During her time at WCSU, she has had the honor of performing as the lead in two recent opera productions, The Merry Widow and Amal and the Night Visitors. She has also been in the ensemble of the operas Die Fledermaus, The Tenderland, and in previous productions of Amal and the Night Visitors. She is one of the music directors of an all-female a cappella group on campus. Deanna began singing and performing at the age of seven and hopes to continue to perform. The aria that she'll be performing for you is from Johnny Schicchi by Puccini called O Mio Bambino Caro. Now, to set this up, her character is Lauretta and she sings after tensions arise between her father Schicchi and the family of Rinuccio. It is a beautiful lyric, simple, in a style only Puccini can accommodate. It's his only comedy and only set piece in this through composed opera. It contrasts the atmosphere of hypocrisy, jealousy, and double dealing. Nothing has changed. <laughs> Thank you, Deanna. I'm jealous that you get to sing that aria. Our next artist is Kelly Griffin, soprano. Soprano Kelly Griffin joined New Amsterdam Opera this season for her debut as Leonora in Verdi's La Forza del Destino. She recently sang her first performance of the title role in Verdi's Aida and was heard as Lady Macbeth in Verdi's Macbeth with Dell'Arte Opera Ensemble. Kelly has been heard as soloist with Miami Symphony, Orlando Philharmonic, and Danbury Symphony Orchestras. Last season, Kelly returned to the Metropolitan Opera Guild Lecture Series to preview both Madama Butterfly and Tosca. She will sing Vieni ta fretta, come, hurry. This is uh, after Lady Macbeth reads a letter from her husband telling her of the encounter with the witches. She wasn't called to that meeting. This is Kelly Griffin.
Kelly, you can be my Lady Macbeth anytime. <laughs> Our next artist is Charlie Widmer. Charlie is a young and up and coming tenor from Oxford, Connecticut. In 2016, he received his Bachelor of Music degree in vocal performance from Western Connecticut State University. His past opera roles include Alfredo from Deflator Mouse, Martin in the Tenderland, and Camille de Rossillon in The Merry Widow. Charlie also has experience with musical theater, playing such roles as Danny Zuko in Greece and Tony in West Side Story. Throughout his college career, Charlie received the James Summers Opera Scholarship, placed first in the 2015 Nats Regional Competition, and won the James Furman Honors Recital for three consecutive years in 2014, 15, and 16. His most recent performing credit was in a cabaret theater series by Ivoryton Playhouse in conjunction with Water's Edge Resort. This eight-week series touched on four themes starting with music of the 50s and moving through Broadway show tunes, opera, and closing with music of the 70s. Earlier this past year, Charlie made his debut with the New Haven Symphony Orchestra, performing as Freddie from My Fair Lady. This will be his second year performing at Opera Palooza, and he would like to thank the city of New Haven for the opportunity to share his music. We thank you, Charlie. Charlie will sing La Donna Immobile, Women Are Fickle. It is the Duke of Mantua's aria from the beginning of Act Three from Verdi's Rigoletto. Now, one thing that's interesting that shows you that this was the popular music of its day, Verdi knew that this was going to be a very popular aria. And so they kept it under tight wraps. A week after it premiered, every gondolier in Venice was singing it. So Charlie's going to sing it for you now, La Donna Immobile.
Thank you, Charlie. Beautifully done. Our next artist is Caroline O'Dwyer. Hi out there. Caroline is a mezzo-soprano from Connecticut with a passion for the operatic concert and recital stages. In 2013, Caroline made her European recital debut in Germany with pianist Sonja Schoenamsgruber. Their program of German leader was met with enthusiastic reviews. Volker Schmidt of the Frankische Landeszeitung wrote, Caroline O'Dwyer sang with high virtuosity and drama in an expressive lyric mezzo-soprano voice. Highly sensitive, she sang from her heart, from her soul, with much poignancy and a warm color. The following year, she was invited to return to Germany to perform a recital program with Sonja and her husband, German baritone Ronnie Rickfelder, at the newly renovated Lutherhaus in Leutershausen. Caroline has also won several awards for her sensitive interpretation of art song, including first place at the Connecticut district level of the Nats Artist Award and first place at the Connecticut Nats Honors Auditions. Equally active on the concert stages of Connecticut this season, Caroline will perform as the alto soloist in Mozart's Misa Longa with Nutmeg Symphony Orchestra and the Waterbury Chorale led by Marshall Brown. She performed in both the 2015 and 16 seasons as guest soloist with the New Haven Symphony Orchestra and Greater Middletown Chorale in Haydn's Lord Nelson's Mass and Mozart's Requiem under the direction of Joe DiEugenio. Now Caroline uh, is going to sing Voike Sapete from The Marriage of Figaro. Voike Sapete is Cherubino's aria. It loosely translates as you ladies who know what love is. Is that what I'm suffering from? Um, it continues the plot of the Barber of Seville and recounts a single day of madness. The Count has degenerated from his romantic youth of the Barber to a scheming, bullying, skirt-chasing baritone. I love that role. <laughs> He's intent on uh, getting Susanna to succumb to his droit de seigneur. The droit de seigneur was the right of the lord of the manor to sleep uh, before the wedding day with uh, a, 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 you know, one of the, the ladies. Um, it was sort of a feudal custom. And um, so intent on, on having that happen, he's not very happy about Cherubino because Cherubino, of course, is a woman playing a man and then to make it more confusing, playing a woman again. So um, this is Voike Sapete from Caroline O'Dwyer.
Thank you, Caroline. You're very womanly for looking like, a, a, you know, a, a teenage boy. <laughs> Our next artist will be Katie Weiser. Katie, Nicole Weiser, is thrilled to return to Opera Palooza stage after having performed Offenbach's Dahl aria last year from the Tales of Hoffman. Katie is a graduate of Smith College, where she was the first singer to be awarded the concentration in vocal performance. She completed her master's degree in voice at the Settner School of Music and her postgraduate degree in opera studies at the University of Music in Graz, Austria. After spending the last year training uh, with her voice teacher and coach in Seville, Spain, Katie is currently singing at the Roma Opera Campus in Rome, Italy, under the guidance of her mentor, mentor mezzo-soprano Vivica Genot. Katie will continue to split her time between Europe with her mentor and her coaches in New York City. Thank you to my family, friends, and Skip for their continued love and support. Katie, I hear, is also an avid runner and will participate in the New York City Marathon this November. If you would like to support a cause near and dear to Katie's heart, um, fighting breast and pediatric cancer, please visit her website. Katie will be singing Caro Nome from Rigoletto. Now she sings this uh, to the guy who you just sing, you just heard sing um, uh, Charlie uh, when he sang All Women Are Fickle. She of course doesn't know that because she met him in church and he told her his name wasn't the Duke of Mantua, Mantua but uh, that it was Gualtier Malde. And so this is Gilda's meditation on her love for the Duke, who she believes to be Gualtier Mardé, a student who she met in church. Uh, and loosely uh, translated, Caronome means dearest name.
Thank you, Katie. It would not surprise me at all to see your star and Charlie's star on doors at the Metropolitan Opera singing opposite each other in Rigoletto. I'd love to hear it. Our next artist is Abigail Pashke, um, lauded by the Washington Times as sprightly and charming with a voice as clear and acrobatic as one could wish. Soprano Abigail Pashke is quickly establishing herself as a standout artist with uncommon spark. Equally at home on the operatic and musical theater stage, recent credits include Gerdino and Johnny Skiki, Salt Marsh Opera, Abigail Williams in The Crucible, Hartford Opera Theater, Maria in West Side Story, The Carnegie, uh, Leila uh, in Les Pêcheurs de Pearl, Virginia Opera, uh, Juliet in Romeo and Juliet, Des Moines Metro Opera, Maria in The Sound of Music, The Carnegie, Prosquita in Carmen, Kentucky Opera, and Valenciennes in The Merry Widow, of Kentucky Opera. Miss Pashke has held um, highly coveted resident young artist positions with Sarasota Opera, Virginia Opera, Kentucky Opera, Opera Theater of St. Louis, Opera Saratoga, and Des Moines Metro Opera. She was the grand prize winner of the 2011 Orpheus Competition, an encouragement award winner from the Metropolitan Opera National Council auditions, and a Houston Grand Opera McCollum Competition semifinalist. She holds a BFA from Carnegie Mellon University and a Master of Music degree from Cincinnati College Conservatory of Music. Abigail is going to sing Cuando me invo uh, from La Boheme by Giacomo Puccini. Uh, to set this up a little bit, Cuando me invo means sort of when I walk. It's sort of um, an early 20th century version of Billy Joel's Uptown Girl. The thing is, uh, it, it really is. Uh, it's also known as Musetta's Waltz. Uh, it's very popular in pop culture of the day and in today's pop culture. Many crossover artists uh, enjoy singing this uh, second act aria. Um, she's singing it at the Café Momus in the presence of her bohemian friends and directing it toward the poet Marcello to make him jealous for their on-again, off-again love affair. Abigail Pashke, soprano, quando me invo.
Thank you, Abigail. I'm sure you succeeded at making Marcello jealous. <laughs> Our next artist is Ryan Burns, baritone. Ryan will be singing Largo al Factorum from the Barber of Seville. Baritone Ryan F. Burns performs extensively with opera companies and orchestras in the Northeast. Ryan was a 2016 national finalist in the American Prize Competition in the Performing Arts Song Division and toured with the Jessica Lang Dance Company in their stage production of The Wanderer, Schubert's Die Schöne Müllerin. Most recently, Ryan sang the role of Il Conte in Mozart's Le Nozze di Figaro with Yukon Opera Theatre, premiered David McBride's Silent Hands uh, at the American School for the Deaf, and performed as part of the Ukrainian Institute of America's Mati series in New York City. Ryan has performed with the former Opera Boston, Opera Theatre of Connecticut, Connecticut Lyric Opera, Opera Providence, Hartford Opera Theatre, Greater Worcester Opera, and Opera del West. This past May, Ryan graduated with a Doctorate of Musical Arts from the University of Connecticut. Ryan received his Master of Music in Vocal Performance in 2012 from the University of Connecticut and BA in Criminal Justice from St. Anselm College in 2007. He is a student of soprano Dr. Constance. Um, a little bit about uh, Back to Barber, Barber of Seville. Um, this is an aria uh, that you need to have your wits about you. It is the first entrance of the title character, Make Way for the Factotum, loosely translated, and it comes from the Latin word meaning general servant. It's the piece de resistance for a skilled baritone, and he is. Hey, <laughs> 
Figaro, 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 That's what you call hitting the piece de resistance out of the park. Well done, Ryan. Our next artist is Jimmy Charlotte Hahn. Woohoo! Raise the roof. With a voice both agile and rich, velvety and bright, Jimmy Charlotte Hahn unique soprano voice is able to deliver exciting high-flying coloratura passages as well as bring depth and emotion to more dramatic songs. Initially graduating with her bachelor's in international political uh, economy, we need you, uh, at the University of Bridgeport, she decided a few years after that to fully pursue the study of classical singing. After a successful battle with cancer, she returned to UB to study, this time with the music department, and she received a Bachelor of Music degree in vocal performance with high honors. She continued her study of voice at Columbia University Teachers College, where she received a Master of Arts in Music and Music Education. She hopes to continue to gain experience as an operatic performer, and she'd love to be able to share this beautiful music with everyone. Staying with the Barber of Seville, uh, Una Voce Poco Fa, Jimmy Charlotte Hahn.
Thank you, Jim. Our next artist is Julia Sanford, um, mezzo-soprano. Julia Sanford is super excited to be a part of the second annual Opera Palooza in New Haven. Julia has performed with the Connecticut Lyric Opera as Der Trommler in Der Kaiser von Atlantis and as Kate Pinkerton in Madama Butterfly. She also appeared with the Martina Arroyo Prelude to Performance Program and has been a first place recipient of the Nats competition. Most recently, Julia sang the roles of Marta in Faust, Dinah in Trouble in Tahiti, and Fumpf Magda II in Strauss's Elektra with the OBC. Julia graduated from the Boston Conservatory and Western Connecticut State University, where she sang the roles of Romeo in I Capoletti e Montecchi, Arsamone in Zers, and the mother in Amal and the Night Visitors. She has also performed, test, performed Tessa in the Gondoliers with the Norwalk Crystal Opera Theater. Julia is the lead cantor and choral conductor at the Parish of Sacred Heart in Greenwich, Connecticut. Julia resides in Greenwich, Connecticut, where she teaches strings with the Greenwich Public Schools and continues to study voice under David Bender. Julia is going to sing Non so più cosa son, I don't know any more what I am. I think I told you earlier, Cherubino is a woman playing a pubescent boy playing a woman. So of course she doesn't know any more who she is, what she is. But this uh, talks about Cherubino's uh, infatuation with all women, especially his godmother, the Countess. Now Figaro is the first of the collaborations uh, between Mozart and Da Ponte, later Don Giovanni and Così. This is Non so più cosa son from The Marriage of Figaro and Mozart, Julia Sanford, mezzo-soprano. Ogni donna cacciarti con l'ore, ogni donna 
Thank you, Julia. I'd like to conclude the evening by singing for you Wolfram's Lied, Wolfram's Aria from Wagner's Tannhäuser, O du mein holder Abendstern. Oh, my gracious evening star. Wolfram is in love with Elizabeth, but so is Tannhäuser. But Wolfram has a premonition of her death and prays to this evening star to guide her to heaven. Were we all to have that star?
Opera Palooza for supporting these emerging artists and for supporting Salt Marsh Opera. Thank you very much. <laughs>